What's going on everybody? It's a quick video on uh, how to make a uh, nine shot rack using the tubes from all your uh, 60 gram canister shells. So literally you need nine tubes. Can of uh, great stuff, just foam, spray foam. It's like 2.97 at Walmart. And then just uh, two sticks if you want to angle them, no sticks if you really don't care. And a uh, milk crate, and that's about it. All right, so I'll get off here and I'll, I'll show you how this is done real quick. So you take three, put them right down the middle. You gotta do the um, outer ones first so that you can put this one right in the middle. Okay, next step, take one of the sticks and put it right at the end there. And then take the other stick and put it right here. Sorry for the crappy video, guys. And then you just want to take your uh, your tubes, and drop one right down here, and that angles the tube. And take the next one, and put it right down here, and they'll both kind of bounce out and even a little bit there, as you can see. So you're basically just making a little nine shot rack here. Another tube. Place it there. Let me fix this real quick. Okay. So basically I just pulled the stick back a little bit just to even it out. And then one more tube here. And they balance themselves out. And then I got two more to put in there. Drop them down here. And one more. It, it's not perfectly even, but um, I make these things all the time and they work absolutely fantastic. So then you take your can of spray foam, take the cap off, shake the hell out of it. <coughs> This works with any five, five inch shells, uh, six inch shells, four inch shells, whatever you got. Instead of leaving the tubes or throwing them out, as long as they're like fiberglass, you don't want to use cardboard because they're, you know, they only got a couple uses, maybe one or two uses on them or, you know, one time done kind of deal. This works with HDP pipe. Uh, I'll show you the end product in here in a second. Let me just uh, show you what's next here. So basically all you're gonna do next is just, uh, you wanna spray the outer part first. You don't want to do too much because it'll push it forward. A little bit down there. Crack. A little bit around the edges. And they're actually pretty solid in here. They don't move around too much. And I mean, you don't really have to use the whole can. I've done it before when I didn't know how to do this and it turned out really crappy but it still works regardless even if a you know a shell blew up inside of um you know some of these like you would never even know because the the blow hole that would come through um would be lower than the foam so you know but anyway you just keep spraying until you you feel like it's enough and because this stuff rises like you want to believe um, if you take the bases off, you could get more in, but I really don't care to do that. Alright, so, in like an hour or something, you know, it'll be, uh, fully dried out, ready to go. I had to take the labels off of these ones because I can't show them, you know, as a pyro, I like to keep certain things on the shelf, and that's one of them, so. But, anyway, end result is this right here. They're solid, they don't move anywhere, and they're good time and time again. Absolutely solid. I have 50 rack, uh, 50 racks, uh, 28 shot that I bought, but you know, when I get tubes and stuff, I like to actually, you know, I don't want to throw them away. I, I want to have a use for them, so 
this wor always works out pretty good for me. Um, and you know, if you have more tubes than just like nine, I have more tubes. I just felt like making a nine shot rack for you guys real quick. Um, if you have more than that and you've been saving them for years, you can make something like this. Um, same concept, just more, more in it. And I believe this is 24 rack. Um, and these are all angled at the end here. Uh, I was one tube short, so it looks a little bit ghetto, but I mean, when you're shooting them at night, it really doesn't make a damn difference. Um, and, and these are all solid and, and these ones I did break bases off of and like think solid. So, but they're angled shots. This is quick, easy way to, to make your own nine shot, uh, rack and it costs less than uh, three dollars. You know, I, it, as long as you have the tubes already, otherwise it could get pretty pricey if you're buying, uh, you know, shells and stuff. But the, the spray foam that I'm using, it's called the great stuff, gaps, cracks. There's, two, there's, there's so many different kinds. You could use store brand stuff. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, it all works out pretty good. Um, if you guys like it, like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good day.